Hey angels, if we haven't met before, my name is Dominic. I run a social media account called Lookin' Brats. I started it in 2017, and it was meant to tie in with a website that I created called lookinbrats.com, which I announced in 2018 and launched in 2020. In this video, we aren't going to unbox dolls, we aren't going to talk about any dolls, we're not talking about any Brad dolls, any upcoming releases. This is going to be a difficult video and I don't know how to even start this. I've been really unsure and I've been sitting with this for a while now and I felt like I needed to put it out there and finally express what I'm feeling. And I'm really scared of the reaction I'm going to get. I'm really scared to really just dive into the topic. I guess I should go ahead and uh, say it. There's really good news and there's bad news and I don't know what y'all wanna hear first, but I think I might need to start with the bad news. Things are changing and they're changing pretty rapidly, to say the least. I just feel like I need to be careful with my words right now. I feel really, really under pressure. It has really been a great journey having conceptualized and launched lookinbrats.com and I, I really just have to say thank you to everyone who's been a huge support to me over the past almost eight years that I've been doing this under Look and Bratz and the love I've received, not only from the website, but also in sort of becoming a content creator, which I never expected to happen, or at least not at the level that it has happened. So I'm really grateful for everyone. If you're watching this right now, if you've been supporting the website or if you've been supporting my content, Thank you so much, um, because this news is a little difficult to break, but I have decided to shut down lookinbrats.com for seven days. Did you really think this was over? <laughs> oh, sh hey. <laughs> Sorry, did I, did I get you a little anxious there? Were you a little scared for a moment? <laughs> Theater background really came in handy, huh? <laughs> All right, well, April Fool's was a few months ago, but you know, I'm a, I'm a silly person. I love a good joke. So if you're interested in jokes and dolls and slightly attractive men, please feel free to come to my channel. <laughs> I am shutting down lookinbrats.com. That part is true, but only temporarily. It will only be for a week because uh, something that I have had in the works for a while, <laughs> and I think a lot of people have heard me talk about this in some capacity or another, is that I am doing a huge update on the website and it's just about ready and I am going to be launching it a week from the time that this premieres. So the official launch date and time is Monday, September 30th, 2024 at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's that's my announcement. I was like, ooh, looking Brett's announcement. This is the announcement that I announced. And you might be like, okay, like, why should I care? And I get that. I mean, some people might be like, oh, it's just a website. Lookinbrats.com is my baby. <laughs> I don't even know how else to describe it. Lookinbrats.com is and has been my baby. I started working on Lookinbrats.com in 2015, and I really, really started to zone in on it around 2016, 2017. Wait, I've actually been doing this since 2016 when I made social media, so yeah. It's been almost eight years. And I announced it in 2018. And I will say, I think I announced it a little prematurely because I actually didn't get it out for another two years because there was just so much work to do. 
And if you don't know what LookinBrats.com is, LookinBrats.com is an extensive resource for Bratz fans. It starts with a database which has an archive of thousands of products. <laughs> when I first started creating it, I think the initial number I had was like seven, eight thousand. And then it slowly crept up to about 10,000. Now it's like 11,000, maybe pushing 12,000 once this update happens. There's a lot of updates coming to the database specifically, but also updates coming across the board. There's going to be new graphics and a lot of really, really cool artists that I've collaborated with. There's going to be new features and there's going to be enhanced features of stuff that's already existed on the website, but it's going to be better than before. And I'm really excited because I started creating the website out of this desire to really pay tribute to the Bratz brand in a way that I felt like it hadn't been paid tribute to before. I wanted to make something that was going to be special for collectors, fans, both casual and long-term. I wanted a touchstone for collectors to have something that was reliable and also could be fun at the same time. And I will say when I started the website, it was kind of bare bones and it's slowly grown since then. Over the past four years, uh, it, it's gone through some things, you know, I've been, I've made changes here and there. I will say the circumstances of where the world was at in 2021 really put a damper <laughs> on the progress of my work and I had to halt a lot, but I'm excited for everyone to see what the relaunch is going to bring and trust there will be some surprises along the way. I, I can't wait to share it with everyone. It's something that I'm so proud of and I made a post on Instagram the other night and I was just kind of in my feelings. I don't know if a lot of people saw it, but those who did, did. And I'm really just so... I'm very self-critical. I'm, I don't know, a self-saboteur, if you want to say. And I, I believe in myself, but sometimes I have a lot of self-doubt. And I think a lot of us deal with this. And that's how I felt a lot with Lickin' Bratz. And even when I first started creating it, I was like, is anybody going to care about this? Is anybody going to want this? And I was proven right that people did care and want that. But for me, as much as I received love for the website, I always felt like there was more that I could do and more that I wanted to do and things that I just didn't have the resources to do that eventually, yes, I was granted the resources and a lot of connections I've made within the community, outside the community. A lot of really cool people who have uh, contributed to this in many a different ways and I can't wait for y'all to see it. And I don't want to reveal too much. I don't want to ramble too much about it, even though that this is what I do on this channel, and I'm really happy that I get to show a more personal side of myself on this channel and really share my love of Bratz and dolls. And Bratz, I always come back to Bratz. Bratz is always my number one. And once y'all see the website, you're gonna like understand like, oh, like this, this is serious. <laughs> this is some serious work here. And I really just want to give the best experience to Bratz fans through this medium. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. I'm nervous sighted. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to looking brats. And I'm so happy to share a date with y'all, an official launch date. I'm holding myself to it. I'm holding y'all to it. I would appreciate anyone coming out to support it. I am going to do a rollout on Instagram. If you want to keep updated on some of the stuff that's going on with the website, check out my Instagram all week long. I'm also going to post it on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube on the community posting. So check it out there. And I am going to be doing a live Q&A special. I don't know the exact date yet, but I'm aiming for something that week that it launches. So Next week, I'm going to be doing a live Q&A on YouTube, so stay tuned for updates on that. And also, look on my posts to see ways to get involved with the relaunch. I am looking to make this a big community event as much as I can, so I would appreciate any love and support. 
I will say my Instagram engagement has been dying. <laughs> she's been dying. I, I don't know exactly why she's been like kind of dead in the gutter, but I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to do something special here. So any love and support is appreciated. Yeah, that's all I really have to say on that. So no true closing out message in this video other than I will catch y'all on the other side and I'll see you on September 30th. It's time!